I play a lot of shooters, and I wanted to take this time to compile a list of my favorites. This isn't going to be in any particular order. Actually, I want you guys to rate and tier them in the comments. I'm actually going to start with one that I know a lot of people don't know about. Nano Force. This is essentially Splatoon in VR. It brought the dynamic and vibrant environment of Splatoon and it just injected it right into VR. And what I like most about this game is you're not competing for kills, you are actually trying to color more than 50% of the level before the end of the timer. You're pretty much combating for marking your territory. Since the time I've been playing, I've been seeing a lot of updates on this game. These devs are extremely active. The roadmap looks promising. You can check out this game for free. Look up Nano Force on App Lab. I do have a few extra nominations, so do stay to the end to hear about those. This next game, I'm actually in the competition for $10,000. This is X8. So not only are you doing tactical gameplay, you're using your hero's abilities over the top of this. This is a hero shooter. This is a lot like Valorant in VR. Not like Larsonauts. Larsonauts is a good one to mention. That one was Overwatch in VR, but X8 is Valorant in VR, so it has a lower time to kill. With abilities and gunplay over the top, it is a faster pace than that of Larsenauts. They released their seventh hero. I'm still waiting on the eighth one to release, and you can still check it out for free. It is both on Steam VR and App Lab. Just search X8. In this game, you're replacing your arms with gun barrels. You get two barrels per each arm. You're not just choosing loadouts, you're building your loadouts. You're swapping out barrels for different ones. You can have rockets, automatics, pistols, lasers, and then you get to mod them. You can add fire damage over the top. You can make them healing. That's right, a healing rocket. Whatever you want to do, the loadout's up to you. The next one I've practically lived inside of my headset for, especially since last November, this is Breachers. This charted all the way up to a number one game. So you are revolters defending your area to let these bombs go off. I don't know why, but we're not going to let a little thing like logic ruin the fun of this game, right? And the enforcers are coming in, grappling up, swinging through windows to take over and disarm that bomb. That's the gist of it. Now they have three different modes right now. There's original bomb defusal, there's control, which is just capture like hard point, and then there's team deathmatch, which is only one map. Bomb defusal and control share all of the maps. Ship, factory, skyscraper, and hideout. There are three leagues, I think the least that I know of, VREL, BCL, and VRML. So get in a team and compete for as much prize money as you can win. Real quick, my assumption is that you're going to be able to pre-order on the 27th for the Quest 3. That's when MetaConnect is. I just feel that this is the opportunity for them to release that, and I think they're going to be doing that. How many of you are pre-ordering? Let me know in the comments. I for sure will be. I'll be doing an unboxing. Even if nobody watches, I don't care. I'm just going to make the videos. <laughs> Now back to the shooters. Tactical Assault VR. This one has been recommended plenty of times, so I know the majority of the subscribers already know about this. And if you're new to the channel, maybe you're just now hearing about this game. This is exactly as it states, Tactical Assault. This is close quarter combat. This is offered on standalone and PC VR. On the PC VR version, you can have eight players. On standalone, you can have four. So you're taking on co-op missions and you're pretty much a SWAT team going in and clearing out whatever objective it is. I really enjoy adding hostage to the missions such as going in there to take care of the bombs and bank and then escorting hostages out and whenever I smash through a door to take out anybody who's on the other side of it or get taken out I just feel like special forces in there and honestly with all the multiplayers out there it feels like there's a lack of good co-op games this one fills that void this one I feel doesn't even need an introduction but it's Ghost of Tabor if you like Tarkov then this is that in VR so the objective is to go out on raids kill everybody you can see Get as much equipment as you possibly can, all the loot that you possibly can, and then just evac out. That is it. Cycle, repeat. Just gotta keep upgrading on your equipment. And nothing's really better than a drum mag because I miss a lot of shots. Next two are free games, and I see them rivaling each other on the top 10 most popular games. First one is Gun Raiders. They're on their way to season eight, and each season came with about two, possibly three levels and a new hub. And one thing they implemented a few seasons ago was Battle Royale. It is a 20 person Battle Royale, duos though, so it's 10 teams. They kind of modeled this more so off of Fortnite than, you know, Population 1 or anything like that. However, there's no building. So they practically offer almost every mode you can think of. You got Team Deathmatch, there's Capture, there's some objective based things, there's Battle Royale, there's Free For All, and then they got hubs where you can socialize and just have endless killing. Which brings me to Population 1 next. This is another free to play game, only on Quest though. The Steam version is not free. Greedy, greedy meta. 
This is a battle royale game that has three per team instead of two, and I think it's up to 21 players, so that just comes out to seven teams of three. Most of the time when I'm in there, I usually only see 18, so I don't know. This game has a skill-based matchmaking system that needs an overhaul. I'm constantly put in there with like diamond players, and I am not that good at the game. I can get some things done, but Jesus, give us a break. So if you're looking for a game that's gonna punish you for being new at it, Give Population 1 a chance. Call of Duty in VR. Probably won't happen because they want to be greedy about it's not making millions and millions of sales. But we have contractors. Closest we can get to it because mad props to all the modding community out there. It has been awesome to see Call of Duty maps inside of this game. Now I've played them inside of Pavlov before but they feel much better and more polished and more like Call of Duty inside of contractors. This game is always different but yet the same every time I jump in if that makes sense. This next game has been in early development for I don't know how long now Pavlov Shack. It is free on App Lab. So if you want something that's close to contractors but yet not but is free, then here you go. This is pretty much Dollar General contractors. I know a lot of people are going to be pissed off I said that, but I said it. It's because it's the Quest version. Now if we're talking about the actual PC VR version, two different animals. It has mod maps, it has core games, and it has team killing. So if you want to avoid the team killing part, play a lot of free for all. So I wanted to mention two other games real quick. One's not even a shooter. It is Knock. This is pretty much rock Rocket League with arrows in VR. So you have 3v3, you have 2v2, and you have 1v1 if you want to be extra sweaty. And all you're trying to do is just shoot the ball into the goal. That's it. Sounds simple, but it is not. You do have blocks that way you can knock block somebody. Nothing's more satisfying than seeing some ball flying all the way across the map only to get knock blocked. This game's still getting updates. In fact, it had one giant update not too long ago, and the whole park that they added was crazy to see. It's almost like they added a campaign mode to it. So I do urge you to check out Knock, and the next one is a 32 versus 32 person game. This one's called War Dust. This has been out for quite a bit and is only offered on Steam VR, so it's for PC VR only. Sorry. Don't forget you can air link to your PC. This game is Battlefield in VR. You can take vehicles, you can take snowmobiles, you can fly helicopters, you can fly jets. You can rock it if you want your no skill kills. And you can drive tanks. The objective is simple. Capture and hold points for as long as possible until your enemy team's tickets deplete. So even if the lobbies don't fill up with people, they have bots. So there you go. Hopefully you guys found some titles to check out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And also, I play all of these games. So if you want to see anything on these games, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out till then.